what is going on YouTube? Mr. Boom here with a little video slash update and some information for the uh, Maverick owners or Maverick order E's um, to maybe help with some confusion uh, as far as order numbers, priorities, and stuff like that. Um, and I'm also going to include a couple pictures of every color. Uh, that way, you know, it's all in one place and people can kind of get an idea of each of the 10 colors plus the 11th uh, on the first edition, the Rapid Red. Um, so to kind of break down the priority numbers, uh, typically everybody's going to see 1 through 20 or 1 through 19 um, uh, on your orders. So 1 through 9 are Ford assigned uh, priority numbers, and those are anywhere from vehicles that are going to be inspected by Ford, employees, or dealer vehicles that are demo vehicles, stuff like that. Um, and then obviously the lower the number, the higher the priority. So if you have any of the, the one through nine numbers, then more than likely your vehicle is going to be inspected as it goes down the line, whether that's, you know, quality control or what may you, um, that's what that's going to be. Uh, the next would be priority 10 through 19. Uh, a lot of you guys are seeing priority 19. That's going to kind of just be the dealer threw the order in there and it gets built when it gets built. Uh, the lower the number, the higher the priority. Highest being priority 10. Um, if you've got a good relationship with your dealer, your salesperson, the sales manager, you might be able to get them to bump your priority 11 through 19 to priority 10. Uh, it's, it's hard to say. I slash my wife and I have worked for um, in the past for a few years as well as ordered numerous Fords from our dealership, uh, Covert Ford in Austin, Texas. Um, we are no longer at that dealership. She is selling Jaguar Land Rover Range Rover and I am in real estate and doing the automotive customization. As I mentioned in another video, um, once I get my Maverick, it's going to start getting torn apart, show you guys a bunch of how-tos, stuff like that. Uh, because we have a good relationship with our dealer, when our salesperson Tony, um, Anthony Avera at Covert Ford, hit him up, uh, once he put that order in, he uh, you know bumped that priority to a priority 10 uh, for us so we could get a little sooner. Um, so to give you guys an idea of how that looked for us, I ordered, actually the wife ordered the Maverick. Um, we ordered a XLT, uh, luxury interior package. Nothing else, uh, 2.0 EcoBoost um, on 26 July. And on the 12th of August, we got a confirmation email that it was scheduled to be built, and it will be built on October 4th. Um, that's the week that it starts production. So pretty excited. Um, it's going to move along pretty quickly. And looking forward to, you know, hopefully having it by mid-October, end of October. That'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah. So hopefully that gives you guys an idea of what the priority codes are and what to expect. Uh, like I said, if you've got a good relationship with your dealership, go ask them, hey, is there any way you can put my priority code? They may say no, they may say yes. Um, but hopefully that helps and gives you guys a better idea. Now, um, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm going to go over the colors. Uh, that way you guys all have an idea. And I will probably put them in the timestamps below just to make it easier for you guys to click through. It'll depend on how long that takes me to do. If I don't, sorry, just scroll forward. Um, in the order that I'm going to put them in, I'm going to do the Agate Black, Cactus Gray, Alto Blue, Iconic Silver, Velocity Blue, Area 51, Carbonized Gray, Oxford White, um, <clears throat> Cyber Orange, and Hot Pepper Red. So keep an eye out, and hopefully this gives you guys a better idea all of these pictures, aside from the Cyber Orange, I can't take credit for. I have gotten them off of the internet, whether it's the Facebook group or the Ford Maverick Club uh, website, which you'll see in some of the pictures, the uh, watermark. So if you're planning on getting a Maverick, join the forum and keep an eye on it and watch for more updates and information. All right, guys. So as I mentioned, here are the colors. I'm going to start out with the Agate Black. Uh, there's already numerous trucks uh, and cars and SUVs on the road with this color. So you should have a pretty good idea of what the color looks like. But here is an Agate Black Lariat. Um, looks like it's the FX4 package and has been modified. Um, but yeah, looks good, looks sporty, and uh, I like it. The next one is going to be Cactus. And there are also already Ford vehicles on the road with Cactus Gray as the paint color. 
Um, the Bronco Sport has it, and I believe the Bronco, the full-size Bronco does as well. So keep an eye out on the road um, if you want to see what that color looks like out in the sun. It's kind of like a, a glossy, more metallic version of Avalanche Gray, if I had to describe it. Um, next up is Alto Blue. So uh, that's what we have ordered, and the reason why we went with Alto Blue is because one, it's a nice dark, deep, rich metallic blue that also has some black to it um, in the darkness um, when it's not in direct sunlight, and because it's very similar to the antimatter blue that my F-150 single cab is. So that is why um, we ordered that color. It's a very rich blue. Um, I love it. The next color is gonna be Iconic Silver. Uh, again, it is a color that Ford already has on the road. Uh, there are F-150s, Super Duties, Mustangs, uh, Explorers. It's the, the new silver for Ford. So you've definitely seen this color on the road, but this should give you an idea of what it looks like on the Lariat. Um, it's definitely a very nice color. Uh, it's probably my favorite silver Ford has done. Uh, the next color that we're going to go over uh, is going to be Velocity Blue. And again, this is a color Ford has had for a while. And as you can see, it's a killer color, looks really good on this XLT uh, with the FX4 package. And just like in years past, it's a blue that when you've got black accents, darkens it up. When you've got polished or chrome accents, it brightens it up. So it's, it's a very nice color and probably going to be one of the more sold colors. The next color is going to be Area 51, um, also a color that is already out on Ford vehicles on the Broncos and Bronco Sports. Um, keep an eye out again for one of the, probably gonna see a Bronco Sport in this color before you see the full size Bronco, but it's another color that definitely depends on the lighting, you know, totally changes, but it's, it's a very nice um, grayish bluish color for sure. Uh, the next color is carbonized gray and Again, a color that is now on 2021 models. 2021 F-150s have it. Uh, I believe the Super Duties as well as the Explorer STs and all the other models as well. Uh, this replaced the J7 Magnetic Gray Metallic. Um, very similar color. Uh, the metallic is just slightly different. Um, so depending on the sunlight, will look a little darker or a little lighter than how um, Magnetic looked. Next color, um, a color that Ford's had forever, Oxford White. Um, also a color that lots of Ford vehicles have and have had for the last decade plus. So should give you guys an idea of how the Maverick looks with this color. Um, this is an XLT two-wheel drive, not the FX4 package, um, but looks, looks good, looks sporty. Um, I think once people start throwing some black accents, we'll look really good. And uh, if you want to keep a work truck look, leave it alone. The next color, Cyber Orange. Uh, these are my pictures. This is the one that is in the video that I posted before. As I mentioned in that video, um, this color definitely has a very school bus look to it, as a lot of people think. Um, when you get really close to it, there's a nice pearl metallic to it. The metal flake in it is absolutely beautiful, and definitely uh, pictures do not do it justice. So um, watch the previous video and uh, get a better idea. Next up is going to be um, the... <clears throat> Excuse me, um, what is the next color? Oh, hot pepper, sorry. So this is the hot pepper red, um, and it is, the easiest way to explain it would be um, a, a less vibrant version of the ruby red, um, a lot less metallic, um, almost no metallic at all. Uh, it's more of just a, a pure red, looks really good though. And then finally is going to be the um, rapid red metallic, which, is what Ford replaced the ruby red metallic tricoat with for the current year models. So um, this is going to be for the first editions, and I'm sure Ford will make it available after you know a year on non-first editions as well. Uh, it's definitely a very nice uh, tricoat tinted red metallic color, and you know keep an eye out for Super Duties and the higher trims because it definitely does look really right, guys so there are the 11 colors um, hopefully that gives you a better idea and uh, helps with what you know Ford is going to be releasing you guys have probably already seen lots of pictures online but haven't seen all of them 
kind of in a row or anything like that. Um, I'm going to include the link to the Maverick Club website. That way you guys can kind of get a better idea of um, what's coming, information, and all of that fun stuff. And uh, like I mentioned before, I am going to, I'm home from the gym now, I'm going to also be um, posting some more updates of uh, information as it comes out, stuff like that. Um, you know, hopefully once I have my um, Maverick in, I can get tearing into it uh, right away because I definitely am excited. I want to be ideally one of the uh, first people to start tearing into, um, excuse the, the office, but I want to be one of the first people to start tearing into it. Um, I'm going to go over in the, no the next video some of the stuff that I've seen a lot of People ask, you know, bolt pattern, what wheels are going to fit, where are you going to be able to find modifications, who's going to have parts, stuff like that. Uh, I've already got a good list of information put together, but I don't want to um, put out any incorrect information, if that makes sense. So once I have a better idea, know exactly, you know, who's going to be offering what suspension, or if it's going to be able to be lowered, be able to be lifted, tuned, all of that fun stuff. Um, I want to make sure that I have all that information and it is correct. So stay tuned. I should have a video with information on modifications, um, parts, stuff like that uh, within the next week or so. I've talked with a couple of my buddies that are vendors for hundreds of companies, aftermarket stuff, um, and they are getting more information every day. So stay tuned. Uh, hopefully this video was kind of helpful. You guys have a better idea of all 11 colors um, and having it all in one place was helpful for you. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up. Uh, please throw a comment section below if you're ordering one, what priority code you are, what color you ordered, what model you ordered, um, your build date, when you're going to get it, what you're going to do to it, and uh, help with uh, keeping the algorithm going because the last video did really well and I'm hoping that I can build a pretty cool Maverick and you guys like it. So the likes are really appreciated, interaction, like I, you know, I'm going to try to reply to everybody and get as much information as I can to as many people as I can. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please hit the like button, um, hit the bell button to get notifications for video uploads um, and subscribe, subscribe to the channel and share the page. Uh, that way I can grow and get more information to you guys. And if you like F-150 stuff, um, I've got two of them that I'm constantly working on. So stay tuned for the SEMA build as well. Um, thank you for watching, and Mr. Boom out. Boom.